It was the month of June, and young Peter made two small markings on his favorite plant. One at the top, and one at the bottom. Now with time, the plant grows, so both the markings should have gone up. But when Peter came back after two months, he saw that only the top marking went further up, but the bottom marking remained at the same place. From here, it is clear that there are two kinds of tissues in the plant. One that can divide and grow, and one that does not. So, only this portion of the plant grew because the marking that Peter made went further up in two months. So the tissues that divided and grew must be in this space. So let us cut a small portion of the shoot tip and observe it under the microscope. This is what you see. This is the shoot tip. See, you can see all the cells. Now, let us perform a small experiment. Why don't we cut a little portion of the root tip and observe it under the microscope? So, we cut a small portion of the root tip and observe it under the microscope. See, this is the root tip and you can see all the cells of the root tip. Now compare between these two cells. See, they are almost same structurally. So the tissues that these cells form are also similar. So these tissues that are present in the shoot tip and in the root tip is known as the meristematic tissue. See, the cells of the meristematic tissue that are present in the shoot tip and in the root tip are continuously dividing. So increase in the cell number would mean the plant increasing in size. And that is how growth takes place in the plants. Now, the marking that Peter had made at the bottom of the plant did not go further up. So from that, it is clear that that portion of the plant did not grow. So let us take a portion. Let us take this portion of the plant that did not grow and observe it under the microscope. This is what you see. See, you can see a lot of cells. And these cells carry out different functions. So the cells that form the tissue in this portion of the plant is known as the permanent tissue. And the permanent tissue does not grow and has lost the ability to grow any further. So the permanent tissue does not divide and does not grow, but it contains a lot of different cells that performs different functions in the plant. So, there are two kinds of tissues in a plant. The growing tissue and the matured tissue. The growing tissue is known as the meristematic tissue and this meristematic tissue is capable of cell division and growth. The meristematic tissue continuously divides and the increase in the cell number would mean the growth in the plant and that is how the shoot tip increased in size. But the matured tissue is known as the permanent tissue. The permanent tissue are, they consist of matured cells that are incapable of cell division and growth. So the plant consists of two kinds of tissues the growing tissues that are present at the shoot tips and in the root tips and the matured tissue is present in the stem or the trunk 
of the plant that does not grow any further.